Can I tell people that this morning we had a conversation, we were both nervous and we never get nervous. How were you when it went to penalties? I, I don't even get emotional and... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I just, I'm gutted because I've, I've had to do the media before I speak to my family and stuff and friends. Um, just um, a few things. Jamie Mackey kicked me off. Jamie Mackey was in tears and it was me and my moose just sort of saying a few things. And Cameron Brown going to coach when he was six. He just goes the goal to the other tonight. Um, we've had Marcus not fit, James Henry struggling, Matty Taylor. We've had a lot of things today that we've had to attend with that we've kept internal. We've not moaned about it, Chris. Even right the way through the COVID-19, we've we've kept our head, we've kept our dignity. I'm absolutely devastated that one my family can't be here. I can only mum and dad would be like in tears now as well. But I wish they were here to see them now. I wish the fans were here. Um, obviously, just looking at we were talking Womble before being in the crowd today. There's there's so many emotional things that are sort of sort of going around in my head and. I think the first thing, the other thing as well, is to, to, to sort of put credit to Portsmouth. We finished both on 60 points, 1-1 in the league, 1-1 on the first leg, 1-1 on the second leg. You've got two teams who were coached and managed and, and motivated in a way where they both stop each other's strengths. It was, it was just a, probably a boring game to watch because that's what we, but we've stopped each other's strengths today. Um, and it's a toss of a coin. Just today we've been lucky. Uh, we've worked on penalties. I spoke to a few people who have been involved in big teams and big tournaments. Um, and I asked a few questions about what they did and we tried to implement that. Um, Gary as well spoke to me about psychological implications leading up into it. So, Chris, I'm just like, Oxford United going to Wembley in the playoffs to get to the championship. One game. We're one game away. And um, before I passed, I want to say thank you to, to, I want to say thank you to you and Kath and all the media team as well. I know you'll probably try and cut it, but please don't for once. Um, <laughs> I just can't really, I'm sort of just waffling, I, I'm quite a bit of an emotional wreck for the first time ever. I just I think people see how much I care. I think uh, what we'll do, I'm going to let you go and celebrate that with your players and your family because if anybody deserves it. You've held the whole ship together. Over the last three months, you've kept this club going. No, you've kept those players I'm, going. I'm you small, deserve every minute. No, I'm a small cog mate in this football club and I'm not any, I'm not, you know how I, how I am, I'm not. I don't conduct myself in a way that's above anybody. We're all we're all the same. Whether you're a player who didn't come on today or did come on today, or whether you whether you're the groundsman, whatever you are, me or the board, we're all taking this together. And that's what makes us a little bit different, maybe, to the rest of them. Um, I can say, but oh, fuck, just devastated. You can't. Uh, we we should be. This should be like a pitch invasion. This should be enjoy Oxford United and enjoy your night wherever you are. Um, let's go up. I can say, come on, we've, we've got one game and whatever it takes, I'll, I'll promise everybody that we'll make sure that, we're, that we're, we'll give it our best shot and whatever that may be, we'll, we'll, we'll take the, the plaudits and we'll take whatever it takes on the day and if, if we fall short, we fall short, but I'm waffling, listen, yeah. sorry. Go and <laughs> see you. it, celebrate with the players. Cheers mate, thank you.